Okay, so this is Captain America's uh, Avenger Cycle. This is a kind of a sweet little small set. Um, I'm uh, transitioning a little bit from Star Wars to the uh, Lego Super Heroes Avengers stuff. I don't really have any plans to get any of the DC uh, sets, like the Batman ones. I'll probably just stick to Marvel. Um, so here are these for you. I'm still going to do Star Wars, by the way, but... I just thought I'd switch to these for a little bit, especially since the movie's on its way out. So, first of all, very, very easy little set. Very small, obviously. Uh, $13 US retail, 72 pieces. Um, and I am going to get the rest of the sets. I'll explain when in just a second here. But you get these two aliens. Right there, you can see. Very interesting head design. Um, they have printing on the back as well. Not really sure who these guys are. Haven't seen the movie yet, obviously. It is not out yet. But you get this little glider thing as well that he can fly on. And it's got a little flick fire missile. Uh, these are stickers, though. They're not printed bricks, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, whatever. And then you get this little stationary launching turret thing. Another flick fire missile right there. Uh, as well as a second alien that has a little gun. And he is a little bit different in design. You can see the the head molds are slightly different. But very, very cool. And then of course you get Captain America on his bike. Uh, these are also stickers. They're not uh, detail pieces, including those right there. And the one on the... I think the shield is actually printed though. If I remember right. So I'll show you him. The bike actually does stand up decently well on its own. You just got to center the tires. Rolls very nicely. Get him off of there. Oh, get your shield off. You can clip the shield and you can see I had it clipped into the back of the bike. It clips in there for storage. But uh, basically, that's all the bike really does. It doesn't really do anything else. It doesn't have any little gadgets or missiles or anything. Okay, there we go. Um, but the Captain America figure is very, very nice. Let's see. Come on, focus. Okay, there we go. Pretty nice little figure. Uh, it looks kind of odd because he's got the... He's supposed to have a blue kind of skin-tight mask helmet. Uh, and so it doesn't really work. He looks a little too like he's wearing a ski mask. Doesn't really look like a helmet. I kind of wish they would have given him like a, a very low profile helmet versus the blue painted head. But whatever. They might change that later on. And he can, of course, hold his shield. Iconic shield. Pretty good size for the figure. I think it, they scaled it pretty well. It does look a little goofy from the side because of the way he has to hold it. He holds it up pretty far, as you can see. But from the front, it looks pretty good. It pulls off the effect pretty nicely. So, very nice little set. I think the only really downside is the stickers. Um, but it's super cheap. If you want a Captain America figure, definitely pick it up for $13. Uh, there's that for you. Uh, more Avenger reviews. A couple more sets. I am going to get the two big ones. Um, I believe it is May 24th through the end of the month. They're doing a special promotion where if you order $75 worth of Avengers sets or more from lego.com, you will receive a special Hulk figure. So I'm going to wait uh, till that day to order my remaining sets so I can get that special figure. Um, Maybe I'll give it away in a contest or something. I haven't really decided yet. But I am going to get some of the other sets, but I did get the three smaller ones right now. So look for those reviews coming out in the next couple days. But here's this one for you. Captain America's uh, Avenging Avenger Cycle, I think is what it's called, for $13. Nice little set. Definitely uh, pick it up. And be sure to go see that movie when it comes out. So there's that for you. Look for more reviews. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you real soon.